Shalom alaikum and welcome to Assyrian Dishes Gardening. I'm Julian and today I'll be showing you how to grow eggplants from seed in a container. So let's start gardening. These are the equipment that you will need to sterilize and sanitize your growing equipment before you start planting. You will need a 1 litre spray bottle with water, 100% cold pressed neem oil, some dishwashing liquid, seed starting containers, trays, boiling water, some gardening shovels, plastic containers, seed starting mix and some earthworm castings. To make the neem oil sanitizer, add two capfuls of the neem oil, and two drops of the dishwashing liquid, and shake. You will need to spray in each of the containers, inside and under, and your trays to prevent fungus gnats. To sterilize your seed starting mix, you will need a container, add about 10 litres or 3 gallons of seed starting mix, in the big container, mix it around a bit, break it up. Because your soil is dry, you will need to moisten it and to sterilize it you need to add boiling water. Do not use garden soil from outside because it contains bacteria. Always use seed starting mix. Your soil needs to be moist, but not too moist that it's too wet. Just needs to be just right, just like a cookie dough. Let it sit for a while, for about five minutes, so the boiling water sterilizes the soil. Then you will need to add one cup of worm castings to your seed starting mix to give it that extra nutrients and two teaspoons of neem oil. Mix it all together and your seed starting mix is ready. These are the equipment you will need to start your seeds. You will need the sterilized seed starting mix shovel, seed starting containers, trays, your seeds, neem oil spray, ground cinnamon and some labels. First thing you need to do, check that your containers have drainage holes. The water doesn't stay inside your containers to prevent root rot. Some containers like these you can use as the oven baking dishes. You just need to make holes in them. Next thing you do is add your soil, not all the way up, just a little bit like that, and then we're going to add the seeds. Let's fill them all up first, and then I'll come back and plant the seeds. The first thing you need to do is put two holes about a quarter of an inch down, one inch spacing in each of the containers. I'm going to plant two seeds 
of each vegetable and in each hole and just lightly cover them. You will need to add labels of the vegetable that you're growing so you don't forget what you've planted. You will also need to check with your last frost date on how many weeks you need to start planting before your last frost date. So with tomatoes, eggplants and peppers, you need to start at least six to eight weeks before your last frost date. Yeah. Then all you need to do is spray with your neem oil to moisten it and to sanitize and sterilize the soil to prevent fungus gnats. On top of that, sprinkle some cinnamon, which is an anti-fungal prevention. These are the equipment you will need to make a grow light box and how to use a heat mat. You will need a clamp light, a light bulb which has 1600 to 3000 lumens and 4500 to 6500 Kelvin. You will need a heat mat and a 66 litre plastic container which has a lid. You will also need a cardboard box to lift the trays of your plants to be close to the clamp light and you will need a marker and a box knife. The first thing you need to do is is to disassemble the clamp light, draw with a marker the point where you're going to put the clamp light to hold the edge of your lid and the center. From the center all the way to the lid, mark a line using the light in the center. You're going to draw a circle or a square outline where you're going to cut the lid. Using a box knife, cut. So I've made a square cut in the middle to place the light globe. I've made a, another small cut in the middle for the spring, for the opening of the spring. Going down the slit, I've made another slit on the edge of the lid for the clamp light to hold on. I've put the light shade back on, screwed it in. Now we're going to screw in the light globe. I've plugged the power point. This is how it should look like. I'm going to place the heat mat at the bottom of this container. Originally I was going to put a box underneath but I don't need to because the container of the seeds are high enough for the grow light to reach. So I'll just demonstrate. And I put my seedlings inside on top of the heat mat. Put the lid on top. The light reaches the seedlings. If it was too low, I would put a box underneath to reach the light. Keep the seedlings inside the grow box for 18 hours with the grow light on and 6 hours off and keep the heat mat on all day. Today I'll be giving you a one week growth update on our seedlings. I needed some extra equipment so I'll let you know what they are. I wrapped around some aluminium foil all around the grow light box and I taped it on the sides just to give it that extra light inside to reflect. Where my place is in the basement, the, it's a bit cold and not too much light comes in, so this helps it out. I also got two feet light fixtures, grow lights, with a T5 light bulb and stand, which has 6500 Kelvin, which is full daylight. So I just wanted to let you know where I got these LED lights. I got these LED lights from Walmart. You can get them from any department store. They are 1600 lumens and 5000 Kelvin. I'm going to be making another grow light box for my other vegetables that I'm planting. I got this one from Amazon, which is 1600 lumens with 6500 Kelvin. This is the heat mat that I 
got from Amazon. I'll put all the links in, a, in the description box. These are the two types of T5 grow lights that I bought, um, which were from Walmart and one was from Home Depot, or you can get them at any gardening supply stores. This one's called the Jiffy Hydro Grow Light. It has the T5 light bulb with a stand. And this is called the McKenzie Grow Light. It has the same thing, the T5 light bulb and the stand. It's very easy to assemble, put them on. I'm going to have more plants coming down here. That's why I got two. I will also be showing you how to water your seedlings. You'll need a watering can with some water and a turkey baster. So I just wanted to give you an update on the seedlings. The tomatoes and eggplant, that's the beefsteak tomato and the eggplant and that's the cherry tomatoes. They started sprouting after six days. Check on your seedlings every day, but after two or three days, you'll notice that the soil is looking dry and it's time to water them. This is how your soil will look like when it looks like it's dry and it's time to water them. Always water your plants in the tray from the bottom. You don't want to water it from the top. Fill it up about a quarter of the way because remember there are drainage holes from the bottom. The roots need watering. You don't need watering from the top. Another way you can tell if your seedlings need watering, if the containers feel like they're light, when they're heavy, you'll know that there is moisture inside. So I'll keep the water in here for only about an hour or so. You don't want to keep them in there all day and all night because then they'll start getting root rot and I'll show you how to take them out after they've been absorbed after half an hour to one hour. It's been one hour that I've watered the seedlings and I'll show you now how to extract the water. Using a turkey baster, take it all out like that, remove the water back in your watering can. Remove all the water from the trays, don't leave anything in there. To make sure that your vegetables flower, you will need to plant some flowers also for bees to pollinate your vegetables. I'll be growing some marigold. They're beautiful golden yellow flowers. I'll be planting them with my eggplants and tomatoes and they're great for bees to cross pollinate. Make sure that your container has drainage holes and fill your container with a seed starting mix, which is pre-moistened. Tap it down. I'm going to make four holes because the seeds are a bit big. Cover them up. Spray them with the neem oil and water. Sprinkle some cinnamon and label them with marigold. They'll be ready to plant when your vegetables are ready to plant. Welcome to part four of this series on how to maintain and feed your plants. On today's episode, I'll be showing you the two week progress on our eggplants. They've just started getting their true leaves. So now it's time to give them some organic water soluble fertilizer. It's been two weeks now and the seedlings have started to get some true leaves. This is the eggplant. That's the true leaf there, and they, these are the baby leaves. So they're now ready to get some plant food, which is organic water soluble fertilizer. This needs to be at least 555. So if you're close to 555, which is NPK, that's what you need. Don't go over 555. If you do, you need to lessen the strength. So I'll be separating the two plants in different pots as they are too big to grow in one pot each. And I've sterilized the seed starting mix with a neem oil and I've added about a cup of worm castings. You'll also need some new labels, some cinnamon powder on top when we seed them to prevent fungus and mold. And we're going to be spraying them with a neem oil water spray solution. You'll need to start feeding your plants with some plant food, organic fertilizer or compost tea as soon as they start getting their true leaves. Feed them every seven days, but water them every two or three days when you see that their soil is dry. I'm going to place one teaspoon of this to some water. So I'm going to add one teaspoon. Mix it up. 
and always water from the bottom of the tray. Keep this in here for about half an hour to one hour so the soil can extract the nutrients. Then you will need to extract the water out so you don't get root rot. It's been one hour since I've watered the plants. Now let's remove the water. Using the turkey baster, I just extract the water, place it back in the watering can. Now I will be separating the plants and potting them in a different container so they have more room to grow. See these beautiful ro roots that are growing? I'm just going to separate them carefully. There you go. It's two separate plants. Fill it up with a seeding mix again. Put an indent. The plant inside. Try to plant it as deep as possible. So then the stem is up to the container lid and I'll then put some extra soil on top. These are my eggplants. It's been six weeks since I started the eggplant from seed. Now it's time to plant them in a container. These are the equipment you will need. You will need some organic vegetable potting mix, some mulch or wood chips for drainage, organic vegetable fertilizer, earthworm castings, water soluble vegetable organic fertilizer, this is a potting mix and the mulch. You'll need a five gallon container with drainage holes, a watering can, labels, some garden tape, a stake, which are bamboo sticks. This is the eggplant and you will need some flowers. I'm going to be using marigold. I've grown them also since um, eight weeks. I'm going to plant it with the eggplant to help with pollination. First thing we're going to do is add the mulch at the bottom of the container to help with drainage. Just like that. Then we'll add the potting mix. Make sure to remove any clumps. I'm going to fill it up just up to this line, just like that. Now I'm going to put a hole in the middle, dig up a hole. Add one cup of the worm castings right there in the middle. Add a quarter cup of the organic fertilizer. For eggplant, it's a quarter cup during transplant and during fruit set. Mix that all through. Next, we're going to plant the eggplant. Take the label out. I'm going to take these baby leaves off. They were the first leaves that came through just to give it some more space with the stem. Turn it upside down. Wow, beautiful roots there. Just open them up a little bit. Turn it upside down. Plant it through there, just up to the stem. Take the leaf off, so you don't want leaves touching the soil. Dust off any soil off the leaves. You need to add flowers to your containers, just around, so you can help with pollination. Dig a hole here, turn it upside down. There, place the soil back. Next thing we'll do is add the stake to the plant so it can have some support. Put it through just like that, all the way to the bottom. Add some garden tape to secure the plant, just like that. Next thing we're going to do is add some organic vegetable water soluble fertilizer. I'm going to put about half a cap inside the watering can with water. Mix it up, water the plant. You will need to use the water soluble fertilizer once a week and water the plant every day. I'll add the wood chips or mulch at the top to help with drainage. Don't forget to label eggplant. It's been eight weeks since I transplanted the eggplant in the container and now it's time to harvest them. Eggplants in Assyrian is called Benjane. I love using eggplants in my eggplant and lentil salad tapsi and in my vegetarian dolma. I'll provide the links to the recipes in the description box. I've grown the purple eggplants so I'm just going to trim them from here. Wow look at that so beautiful. These are beautiful also grilled on summer hot days with a barbecue. This purple beauty. 
Remember to subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share this video with your friends. Happy gardening everyone!